Friends for Tidy Up Tuesday. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. I am just going to do a little um, refresh to try to find. Um, I'm, I'm hoping we're going to monitor the chat this time. And here we go. Um, let's just check in with everyone and see how you are doing. Okay, Marty's here and ready. All right. Hi, Marty. Welcome. All right. So I see I've got my YouTube stream coming in and I am just checking on Facebook. So I just want to make sure, once again, this is just a safe place that we are here to share and enjoy talking about craft room organization. So welcome. All right. Susan's here from Facebook. All right. So I got my both streams working. I am so happy that you guys are here today. We are going to talk about punches <laughs> and tools, two of my favorite things. And um, this is a this was a requested one, right? And I have actually several um, videos that I've already talked about punches and uh, different ways of storing them, but they are tricky, aren't they? They're just kind of a tricky thing to get a handle on. So today, what I want to do is talk a little bit about different types of punches, different options, and I have a really fun surprise for you. I um, was looking in my POP, Progress on Projects, Facebook group this morning, and you guys have blown me away with your carts, okay? Because we can't really talk about punch and border punch and border maker cartridge organization without also talking about carts. And if you guys have been watching Tidy Up, you know my passion for carts. So today I am going to share a little bit more about my cart and I pulled some photos from the POP Facebook group and um, just so we could kind of see them all together and we can talk about them as options for you because really scrapbook organization is just all about options, right? And what works for you in your space the size of your collection, the size of your room, or if you have a corner, or if you have a closet, whatever you have, you've got to figure out, out of all these different things that we talk about, what's going to work for you. That's my biggest tip, but I've got some more fun things. So anyhow, I just want to let you know about that. So welcome everyone, Laura, Sabine, Yoli's here, Linda, Lorena, Lisa, Maria, Christine, Linda, oh my gosh, it's so good to see all you guys. And I missed a few up top. Cherie's here, Margarita, Sharon, Cindy, Bobby, Diane, Mary, all right. Um, Margarita from Puerto Rico, welcome everyone. Judy's here too. Okay, Julie's here. <laughs> okay, Julie says, I've converted her. <laughs> I've converted her on carts. She's going to buy one <laughs> if it has a good Black Friday deal. And that's a great, um, I love that because there's so many things. And wait until you see what I have to show you today because it's kind of fun. Um, if you uh, want to get in touch with me, I just put a banner up with all of my links. So there's so many ways that you can kind of find what I do. I'm here on Facebook. I'm here on YouTube, but I also post a lot of still shots of what I do for my pages on Instagram over here. <laughs> and then also I've added my Amazon shop link here because um, as we talk about things, I try to go in and go, oh yeah, I've got to add that. I've got to add that just to make it easy. I get a lot of requests, a lot of requests for um, products like, well, what about that stand that your plant is on? That's from Ikea. <laughs> and, um, you know, I still love my plant hanger. That one is on my Amazon page. So, you know, just as we're going through different parts, there's little goodies, little Easter eggs, you might say, um, all over my room. <laughs> okay. Now, I want to um, start off by talking about kind of my one of my biggest tips no matter this is great because no matter what size stamp and tool collection mostly we're I mean punch let's talk punches 
what size punch collection you have. This is something that everybody can do. Yes. Um, and oh, okay. Um, I'm going to ask, and, and Sabine just put in a question. Let me, let me, um, let me answer that. And then I'll go to my other thing. <laughs> okay. So, and, and please do put the cue if you have a question. Thank you, Sabine, for doing that, because that just makes it a little more, um, easy for me to go, oh, that's a question. I need to try to address that if I can. <laughs> okay. So Sabine says, we are talking about punches, talking about the new release. I, I'm not really talking about like specific punches today, but like how to organize them. Um, but let me just mention, so Creative Memories, this was the start of birthday week. So in November, usually the first weekend week in November is birthday week for Creative Memories. So you always need to mark that on your calendar, okay? And then um, mid-month, so we will probably know on the 11th Friday, which is Preview Friday, they are going to release their Black Friday promos. I don't know <laughs> anything about them. I've never, I've not seen them. I don't know. I just know there'll probably be two or three bundles. They're going to be a spend get. So if you spend around 150, 160 US, you'll probably get this bundle. It will most likely have punches, some kind of tools in it, paper embellishments. I'm not sure if they're going to do albums. I don't know. But, um, they're always good. They're always exclusive. And um, so the Sabine was talking a little bit. So during birthday week, what happened, they released this first week, um, a border sketchbook and laser cut, and they actually sold out yesterday. So if you go to the website today, there's actually a new border cartridge that they just put in because they sold out of the other stuff. And it's pretty cute. So if um, you want to go check that out, they said it's only until November 4th. I have no idea, unless somebody has already read a post somewhere, whether that will be put into the product line or whether you can just get it for free this week. Okay. Um, Polar Bear Punch. I have not seen it. I don't have it in my hands. Um, I, I know that will be part of the, that's part of the core product line. That's not going away as far as I know. Um, so that's just part of the new release. What is going away possibly would be that new punch and the cupcake, the cupcake border punch I saw this morning is on the hot list, which means um, supplies are getting low on those. Okay. All right. So those are just a little tidbits. But all right, you guys. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know there's there's a lot to be put in our carts, right, Teresa? <laughs> no. All right. So welcome, welcome. All right. Here's what we and Cynthia's here, Marsha, and Ned's here. Awesome. Great. Good to see you guys. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna switch over to before I share carts and some more um little videos. Um, I wanna share my overhead and just talk for a brief minute about what I was mentioning that everybody can do. And I think this is the third time I've mentioned one of my favorite things. And um, here's, here's what we know. You know, we all love punches, but the problem is these punches come in so many manufacturers, so many sizes, even creative memories. Look, there's big fat single punches and skinny punches. There's border punches. There's border maker cartridges, right? We've got so many different things. It's really hard to keep track of where to put them and kind of what you, what you have. So one of my favorite things to do is actually take a sample. And I, I have been so busy. <laughs> I haven't kept up with this, but you guys, maybe you can keep up with it better than I, I can. This is my punch inventory binder. And so I know if you've been following me for a while, this is not new for you. But you guys, this is still such an easy way. You have everything, all your tools in one place. So the way I have this set up, it's a notebook and it's a bunch of 
baseball card sleeves in this notebook. These are linked on my favorite things page. Um, and then I just sit and out of, you know, extra paper I have, this is not my good CM paper. This is just craft paper. I make a bunch of little cards that will fit in the holders. And it's really nice to prep this ahead of time. So then what I decided to do, of course, <clears throat> this is me. You don't have to do it. You can do however you want to do it. I decided to color code some of my manufacturers for punches. So I have a lot of Martha Stewart. She's pink. EK Success and Stampin' Up, they're green. Creative Memories is blue. Um, I, some, I have some old OMFL or Memories for Life. They're, they're yellow. Uh, Marvy Miscellaneous Orange. Uh, I Now I've added some Tim Holtz to my collection, right? So I could probably add in purple or whatever. You can do wh however many colors, however many things that make sense to you. And then the best part of this is, so you have your little stash, then you can start, <clears throat> excuse me, creating samples. Samples, samples, samples for this. And then as I was getting ready for this live, I also came across, I had started originally. Now, if you don't wanna do a notebook, here's another way. I had started originally with a ring where I just wanted to punch all of these um, different patterns. And I also know a lot of people actually punch the whole strip. Like if you have a border maker or a border punch, um, or a punch, you can punch the whole strip and then you can, you know, put that, tape that down somewhere or add that. Um, but because I have so many different punches, sizes, you know, things that end up, I decided to do, I abandoned this because it doesn't really help for punches like this um, necessarily. And I mean, you could, but I went to the notebook. Um, the main thing I wanted to mention here, which would be an improvement on this notebook, is that I actually ended up having to punch the punch out, right? And so this is when you just take your cartridge, right? So let's do a, a blue one. Oh, I don't have any blue. Okay, we're gonna make it green or yellow <laughs> so you can see it. You just, you don't even have to get your border maker system out. You just stick your paper in there and my little bats are gonna go everywhere. And then you punch it, okay? And then you slip that card in your sleeve. So super easy, you just have to punch one time and you just need your, for border maker cartridges. Here's the other thing though I realized would be a good improvement <clears throat> would be to slip a piece of white behind this. Then you know what you could actually do is use both sides for one, right? So you could put another punch on this side. So, you know, it's a little more cutting. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me take a drink really quick. It's a little more cutting, so you'd actually have three in one pocket, but you could use, it, you know, it could double up. And, and that white paper is not the right size, but you could then see the pattern so easily, right? With the white paper behind it. I thought, you know, as I was flipping through this, I thought, yeah, it's kind of hard because sometimes these patterns lay on top of each other and then you just can't see them very well. So let me just say, so pink is Martha Stewart. So I have a lot of Martha Stewart. Then I have my um, uh, Creative Memories punches. And then I got smart and started writing the name of the punch when I punched it in um, a white, uh, this is like a white gel pen. You could use a jelly roll or the Posca paint pen, that's another favorite of mine. I love using those white on the um, colors. So um, you can you can do those. And, and then you have a sample of each of your punches. So you can go through and do even your little punches. I wanna show you, so here's all my border cartridges again. Then I actually even started writing, I think back here, did I start? The date, I can't remember. No, I didn't put the date. <laughs> okay, so you can see, you go through, and this works for standalone punches, right? All the different shapes you have and so forth. So this way, 
because at least for me, I have a little bit of an obsession with punches. So I have to store them in several places because I just don't have walls and walls to keep them out. And, um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that too. And then, um, uh, at least I know I have one, you know, a sample. So I, I have a reference. The other thing I want to mention is, you know, contact your Creative Memories advisor. I, um, every now and then I'll post this in my customer group. So if you have ordered from me, make sure that you have requested to join my um, customer Facebook group, my VIP group, because I will give you, um, there's a file section in that group, and this is part of what I, I supply, is a printout of all the layers. So I can see I haven't done this for a while. I need to go pull a new one. But this gives you um, a release date. And most uh, Creative Memories advisors have a way of getting their <clears throat> getting a hold of this document. Okay, so you can see there's just different ones. So this is just a resource. And then the little red dot is if I have it. And my goal is to have every single punch ever made, but I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> All right. So um, let me ask, there was a couple questions. Ju or Julie said she uses the 12 fill and file long ones for her sample border punches. I like the length to see the look. Yes. And and now she's had to start using six inch, inch lengths. Lengths. Ooh. I love that idea though, Julie, that's awesome. So that you can see a little bit more of what it punches like, right? The repetition and pattern of that. Okay, so um, this is like, so anyhow, that's a little reference in the back of the book. Okay, <clears throat> now the other thing I wanna talk about, so this is my punch inventory binder. I do have some more videos. I have a video on how I actually made it and blah, 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 you can see that. Um, so. What I also want to mention is that I feel like when you are organizing your punches, you have to ask yourself, here's the question, and I want to see what you guys answer. So put it up in the chat. Get ready to type. Are you ready? Are you a glancer or are you a grouper? <laughs> okay. Are you a glancer or are you a grouper? Now, what do you think I mean by that? So... Are you a glancer? Do you like to see the pattern? Do you like to see the edges <clears throat> and what that punch is going to punch like? Are you a glancer? Do you like to see that? Or are you a grouper? And there's no right or wrong answer here, friends. And maybe you're a little bit of both because I know I'm a little bit of both. So tell me now. Are you a glancer or are you a grouper? And so a grouper, oh, these are all leaves. Look at that. I want to see all my leaves together like this. These are grouped together because they're all leaves. And I like to know every leaf punch that I have. So I'm a grouper. Okay. Are you a glancer or a grouper? Just kind of curious, just for fun. Not that it really makes a difference, but if you were to say, I, ha I could have anything I want. I really, really want to see <clears throat> all my punches. And then there's some certain ways that you can go about looking at glancing, right? Being able to see. If you're a grouper, you might be more um, okay with actually tucking these away, like putting them in a drawer and not seeing them, but knowing you have a drawer for leaves. So if you need a leaf, you could open your drawer and see all your leaves. Do you see what I'm saying? So glancers are going to need a, a visual way of seeing all your different punches, whereas if you're a grouper... <clears throat> You may not. You could do drawers and different things because there's a lot, a lot, a lot of options. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get this frog out of my throat. Okay. <laughs> All right. So it looks like we've got a good, a good supply of both. Um, a grouper with glancing. Okay. <laughs> I, I group, but I want to glance. Okay. 
So let's start taking a look at what we can do to display different, different tools and different punches, kind of keeping that in mind, okay? Because there's a lot of products out there and I wanna first share a couple that I've done in my room and I will say I am both. I'm a glancer and a grouper, <laughs> okay? Because I don't have, if I had my way, I would have, I would be a glancer. I would have them grouped and glanced all. But you can see, like, how in the world would you put all your leaves on a shelf? I don't know how you would do that. So let me first kind of pop in here and give you a little tour of my um, punch wall. And I should have... <laughs> Hang on a second. I should have, um, I'm going to have to pull my computer a little closer, see which one this is. Okay, here it is. All right. Now, yep, I still have sound. Thank you guys. So, oops, that's not the right one. Hold on. <laughs> here we go. This is the right one. Okay, friends. So this is definitely heaven for glancers. Can I just say that? Let me pause this for a second. Heaven for glancers. So if you have wall space, let's first talk. You're going to need wall space. One of my absolute favorite organizers is the Stampin' Storage. And um, after this video, after this live, um, I do want to let you know they are, it's on sale. There's a promo going on and I will pop a post with that info on both Facebook and leave a link on YouTube but it's 15% off site-wide, which is awesome. And I believe it's for the entire month of November. The, and so Stampin' Storage is what I have all my um, border maker cartridges in. This um, down here, I don't know if you can see. So underneath my border cartridges, there is one... Um, T uh, totally Tiffany. It's the stadium, one of the stadium organizers. I think I got this one at Joanne's um, because you can go to Totally Tiffany, but you can also get her products other places. This is where I put those really wonky. I didn't even get one of those, but they have like, they're the, for the, um, they have ledges, <laughs> right? These are the frame punches, the circle, the circle frame, my tag punches, um, and the four, you know, four corner punches, they really just needed their own home. So they do fit um, in the stadium, the Totally Tiffany Stadium. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out. That's where I have a few of those odd shaped punches. And you can also see the little ones fit right there in the front too. Okay, so uh, Ms. Peach, uh, the these units that I am have my my punches in are on sale. These are the stamp and storage units. And so I'm going to show you, these are specifically designed for creative memories punches. So when you go to their site, you can put um, in a search for creative memories punches and you can see right here, okay, the same unit. I, I want to make this clear because I had a friend who didn't realize it's the same unit for both uh, border punches and standalone punches. Okay, so you just have to turn your standalone punches to the side. Here's for my glancers. All my glancers, you can glance over there and you can see how these um, will punch, like what the pattern is for that punch. Now, I got a question. Do I store my punches alphabetically? No, I don't. I am a thematic, I'm much more um, into, so I'm kind of that grouping, I'm a group or themer, and then, um, and then I also have to have, you know, my backup storage, which I'll share in just a second. Okay, and if I had to reorganize every time I got a new punch in alphabetical order, I think I'd pull my hair out, so no, I don't do... <laughs> don't do alphabetical order. But if you can, I think, you know, if, if that's the way your brain works, you have to organize the way your brain works, the way, you know, you kind of see, um, or you know how to get to your stuff, right? Okay. So 
if you look, you can kind of see <clears throat> the, um, like I have the birthday, I think there's the presents and then the cake. So that's kind of celebration. And then here's balloons. And so they're kind of loosely grouped. Um, and then I'll do border punches and I'll do, um, uh, you know, different ones. Now, yes, here's another thing. I, I know somebody came in and said, my stash is growing. I'm being overrun by punches, right? And I get that because look at this. I just have every single spot filled with a punch on my wall. And my wall is not growing. Like that's the only wall I really wanted to dedicate to having wall storage. Now, I also wanted to mention, somebody had left a comment. Oh, I bought these and I wish I had purchased the wall hanging kind. kind. I did the same thing. When I first bought these, when I was downstairs in my craft room um, in the basement, these just sat on my table. I had a really, you know, it was a sturdy table. <laughs> and they just sat on the table and leaned against the wall. So I didn't need the hooks on the wall. Then when I rearranged, I'm like, no, I really want to put these on the wall. And I didn't have, it's called a French cleat is the uh, type of hanging system that's on the back of these. It's very, these are very heavy, very heavy. Remember how much metal are in punches. So um, you can order those separately. So for anybody who has ordered the stamp and storage, but didn't get the wall hang, you can order that but you do need to have somewhat of a handy person help you install the backing because they need to be glued and nailed to the back. And then you can put the other bar on your wall, find a stud, and then um, hang them. Okay, so that's what, that's what you can do for the Stampin' Storage. So what do we do? Like I have these somewhat grouped on my wall, but I am getting overrun with punches as well. <laughs> I get that. So what I ended up having to do was find a place for my, quote, excess. So this is kind of where I'm putting the excess. And I just want to mention really quickly here, and um, I, what I'm hoping is helpful. I could take you around with my phone, but here's something, guys, I get really seasick when I watch bumpy videos, like not seasick, but like, you know, car sick or whatever. I'm really susceptible to that. So any kind of a bumpy video, just, oh, I, I, I can't watch it. Like it affects me for hours. Um, so what I'm trying to do is bring in little clips of the video. At some point when I'm done, I'm going to do my whole tour again with my husband, because he can do that really well, um, hold this the camera on um, that device. But I just want to kind of share little clips with you. Hopefully they're not too bumpy. And then we talk about it. Okay, so that's kind of how I'm, why I'm pre-recording and not like pointing stuff out. I'm not a very good camera person, let me just say. Okay, so <laughs> that was a little aside. This is right here. This is another type of stamp a uh, punch storage okay yes motion sickness is real <laughs> Belinda, it's so true okay um if you are a stampin up lover which i love some of their tools as well their punches i love the different sizes you can see on here i have like the two and a quarter inch circle the two inch the one and three quarter the one and a half because i just love that <laughs> <laughs> and um, some of their other, and you know, they have two of my favorite tag punches, the whale tail and the little round punch. Um, and so this unit, just so you know, and this also Stampin' Up! and um, is it Marvy, I believe? Which one was it? Um, no, EK Success. Those are the kind of gray ones. Those are EK Success. They have a very uh, similar platform that they manufacture their stamps on. Maybe it's the same one. So they fit in the same cubbies. This is a different size than the Creative Memories cubbies. So if you have Stampin' Up! punches, they are going to go in a different holder. 
So if you kind of look over here, whoops, right there. Do you guys see that this one up on the top or the CM, see how it's just a itsy bitsy bitsy bit smaller, okay? And the Stampin' Up are um, just a smidge longer. So they're not the same size. Okay, just want you to, you to know that. So if you have those, so I have like two, as you can see on the bottom rack here, that um, I use for my Stampin' Up! and EK Success. Um, and then the top, now during the sale, you can see that empty space is going to get another CM punch holder because um, they are on sale. And that's just going to be for, you know, my overflow. So for like more theme punches and less used punches, I'm going to take them off my main wall and tuck them under here. So this is actually on the back side of the H bar, okay, of my island. This is where these punches live. And I, I, I think I've mentioned that before. So they're very narrow. So someone could actually still sit on that side and and work um, and and uh, and still, you know, it's not it's not very deep, but they do have to deal with my punches under there. OK, so um, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense there. Let me um, just remind you of another favorite craft room punch organizer. Okay, I'm going to just pause it here for a second. I, in, in my previous craft room, I had three of these that are Helmer drawers. These are the Ikea Helmer, H-E-L-M-E-R, drawer systems. And this was one of the first ways I stored my punches. Why? Well, take a look at this picture because every size punch can fit in this drawer. I really love these little Helmer drawers. But if you are more of a glancer than a grouper, you may not like this system. So anybody want to guess what this drawer, the label on this drawer is going to have? Anybody? Want to guess? What What do you think I'm going to label that drawer? <laughs> Come on, throw it in the chat. I'll wait to see. So I had to figure out a way to, I didn't have a whole lot of room, but I really wanted these Helmer drawers. They are on wheels, they are metal, and they are sturdy. Look at how many punches I have in that drawer, and they have held up. I've had these. Um, so I've had these, oh, three years now. Yes. Three years at least. So, um, yeah, you, you, you probably don't, you can't see it very well. Okay. I, Mary, I think you got it. You're just missing a T, right? Those are hearts. That's my hearts drawer. How about this one? Hearts. Yes. This is stars. <laughs> Okay, so just to give you an idea for you groupers, right? Now, do you guys see some oldies in there? Oh, yeah, there are some oldies in there. So um, some old CM double heart and um, double star punches. So the same, my double hearts would be in my heart drawer. I know you couldn't see inside that drawer very well. But you can see these are metal drawers, very heavy and durable. So I was able to figure out that I could move. I have the really long, now here's another tip. I have the really long um, linemon, linemon, I think is how it's set, uh, tabletops, desktops from Ikea. You can see it right next to my Alex drawer. So this Helmer drawer is next to my Alex drawer. And so I was able to scooch my Alex drawers, not my Alex, yeah, the skinny Alex over. And this Helmer drawers just could slide right under the tabletop. Okay. And they're a little shorter than the Alex. Does that make sense? So I'm going to just let this video roll a little bit. So you can see I have some of those um, under there. And then I have, so I have these now flanked on my standing table. 
So here's another one. This one is my spring drawer. And then this one is my leaves drawer. Okay. So you can kind of see both of those drawers. And then on this, in this Helmer, the top is leaves and then it's going to be spring, summer, fall, winter. And then the bottom drawer is Christmas. So these little guys have six drawers, right? Is that, did I count that right? Four or five. Yeah. Six drawers um, in each little cabinet. And you can see, you can stack and really put a lot in these drawers. Okay. So, right. You can get a lot of different shapes. So if you're, if you like to glance and group, this also may be good for you because you can have a drawer that's like, okay, if I'm working on spring pages, I can open up my spring drawer and find, you know, flowers and birds and, you know, different things like that, that will help me enhance my spring pages. Now, let me just make <clears throat> a comment here. Yes, I have. So I have themes in two places because I do have these drawers, but I also just showed you my wall with my kind of display punches, my creative memories punches and border cartridges. Okay. So yes, I have it in two places, but what I also realized when these were downstairs, when I didn't have them up here, I really, really missed all my itty bitty little tiny punches. Okay. And you've just got to have kind of a place like this, a drawer or a basket. And I'm going to show you some awesome carts in just a minute um, that you can just kind of group. So it's all about, you know, grouping as well. And maybe, maybe we're just both. Maybe we're groupers, but we like to glance in our drawers, right? And see what we have. Okay. So, so really um, the stamp and storage units, that's one and the Helmer carts. Those are, those are two of my absolute favorite um, ways of containing punches. Now, I want to share something else with you. And I know, Linda, I feel you. I love my punch. I love my punches too. <laughs> Bunnies for spring. Exactly. You could put your bunny punch in there. Okay. So let me... Um, I want to I want to share something just as we're going through and I have to kind of get to the right place. So give me just a second. And okay. So <clears throat> All right. This is my YouTube channel and some of you may be familiar with it, okay? Sometimes I get asked a lot of questions and so I just whenever I get asked a lot of questions I want to give you a little reminder. And um, when you go to my channel, I think it said I have 187 videos. I don't know. It's crazy now how many videos. Because I've been doing this three years now, my friends. So when you go to my channel, I have tried to make things easier. But people are telling me, I can't find blah, blah, blah. You know, your wedding album or your... Um, punch organization or whatever it is. I try to group things in playlists. So these are called playlists. Craft Room Organization has its own playlist. Friday Night Scrapbooking has its own playlist. So on all of my Creative Memories Scrapbooking has its own playlist, my tools and so forth, my pop series. They have their playlist. So you can go to a playlist if you think, oh, it's an organization video and find that. But I also just want to remind you, there's this little magnifying glass, which is a search. So if I want to search on my channel a video for three tips, I can type that in and go, look it, here's the ones, tips that have tips and different things, tips and techniques. Okay, so don't forget that you can use your search bar if you're searching on my channel and it will give you the, whoops, forgot to hit enter. <clears throat> it will give you my videos on my channel for your search. So don't forget to use your tools. And while you're here, 
I hope you've subscribed and rang the bell. So you're not going to get notified like that I'm doing these lives on YouTube unless you ring the bell that says, yes, I want to get notified. <laughs> okay. So this is one of my um, favorite videos where I go into a lot more detail about punches and I have the three tips for you. And in fact, what I want to do is share because I don't have this system set up anymore. I want to share a little bit. And that's what what's good about video, right? That you can keep, um, you know, you can you can have this as a, um, a reference. So for those of you who have Ikea, um, Ale these are the long Alex drawers. <clears throat> I just want to mention that that was one of my favorite ways also of storing border maker cartridges because, um, again, you can see at a glance everything all at once. But I just want to kind of share a little bit. So in this video, like you can see, I go through a lot of different storage options. Um, so I want to make sure you knew about this. Again, um, craft supply organization for punches. And that's how you can find it. Okay, so I'm not going to take you through the whole video because you can go watch that yourself. Um, but I did want to just share a little bit about that. Let me go back while I was sharing um, that drawers, what I would recommend. So if you don't have wall space, like what I mentioned for uh, border maker system, the border maker cartridges in the stamp and storage system, what I learned, why I showed you the drawers is that, again, these guys are heavy, heavy, heavy. Yes, see, Monica, I'm gonna answer that question. The way I was able, they bowed, they did, my drawers bowed <laughs> in the Alex. But the way I took care of that is I got the, the acrylic trays. These are the same ones that I use for my stamps. So I just ran downstairs and got one from my wood stamps. It's the same acrylic tray. I don't think Michaels has these anymore, but there's some on linked on Amazon that I found. They're acrylic picture frames, acrylic picture frames. This is another one. What you have to do is find something sturdy that's going to help you distribute the weight of your punches throughout your drawer. Yeah. And um, I know, Diane, they don't pull, they're not full extension like our kitchen drawers, right? So here's a couple options though. If you, and then I'm gonna show you some carts too, so don't forget. You can put, the reason I had all those cartridges in my drawers is because I had them in a tray, which is distributing all that weight across the whole tray. So then I could even actually just take the tray out and, you know, have that out if I wanted, or I could leave it in the drawer. This is another one. This is from iDesign. This is a new drawer organizer that I found. This is a four by 12 by two. So you would have to make sure this fits in whatever space you wanna put it in. These fit really nicely in the old Recollections cubes from Michaels. You can get three of these across a cube, okay? This is a great little tray. And my so my, my tip for you is find something that's going to house the weight and help distribute it, okay, before you put it on a shelf or on a drawer or something like that. It's all about physics, right? <laughs> My husband was an engineer, so I get a lot of talk about that, you know, all that tech, techie, techie talk. <laughs> so, um, so redistribute to help you, um, you know, deal with the weight of some of these tools because our punches are heavy, heavy, heavy. Okay. <clears throat> the expandable drawer organizer tray. iDesign makes a really good ones. That's a great one. I haven't tried that, Annette, but that would be the same thing. As long as it's really sturdy and it's going to help you distribute the weight because these guys are heavy. Okay. So that was just a little tip for drawers. And I think that would help. Now the Helmer drawers are 
metal. So I haven't had to do anything like this in the Helmer drawers from Ikea. Um, and those do pull out all the way. In fact, you have to be careful you don't pull the whole drawer all the way out on those. Okay, so just, just be careful with that. All right, um, let me go back and I think, oh, before I go into carts, I also just, because we're talking about tools, I also wanted to share, this is where I store my um, cutting system. Yep, it's just all thrown in the top drawer. This is a very similar drawer setup to the Wide Alex. This is the new one from Michaels that you guys have seen in my craft room. But I, I have this in my top drawer. And I tell you, I love being able to just open that drawer, grab what I need, throw it back in the drawer and close it. So for me, this is a grouping thing. I just want everything in one place. They're not very well organized, except that my bigger ones are on the bottom and my smaller ones are on the top. And then um, if I roll back just a minute here, I do have these little cups. People have asked, Lauren, where do you get those little things that fit in those drawers? Um, I believe this was yet another bathroom organizer from Target. So you just do have to make sure you find all kinds of little, you know, containers that will fit in all the places that you need them to fit to hold the things, right? So this is where I'll pop my blades and then all my um, uh, custom cutting system patterns. Now, if you want to see a gorgeous setup, you know my friend Kylie Kingham. If you look when her videos, if you look at the wall behind her, she has all of these beautifully arranged on the cutest little pegboard. That is another, if you like that visual look and you have wall space, <clears throat> that's a great option for custom cutting system is a pegboard with hooks to store your, your tools this way, okay? So, Yep. And Cherie says it's in the same thing. Love it. And you can just throw them in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. And you can use Belinda. Okay. That's awesome. Um, the wine holder, you know, my Ikea, I have been trying to get a hold of those. The wine holder, it's like a little tic-tac-toe grid. Um, and they will hold those, the, um, drawer organizers and I my Ikea's every single one of them around me has been sold out of those for months and months but I did see a post on someone who did that um, and that's awesome so at at some point I hope to get my hands on one and then um, uh, we can we can explore some more of that okay the other I have another drawer right under this where I keep my trimmer and my personal trimmer, my circle cutter, my border maker, long custom cutting system. The housing unit does not fit, it's too tall. My decorative trimmer, my rulers, and my 12 inch trimmer, did I say that? <laughs> okay, hello friends. Um, so I wanted those again to be able to uh, turn around in my chair, it's right behind me grab all of those tools so all my cutters are in the same drawer. I want to share some great ideas on other places to put your custom cutting system. So keep hanging on. I know I keep promising these cart pictures. They're coming, I promise. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to share where some of mine are first. Okay, so those are the drawers. And then, um, okay, I think I've shown you my drawers, my stamps. Let's talk carts because it has been so much fun like I mentioned to go into let me see which way I have to go here we go go into the pop Facebook group <laughs> and take a look at your carts you guys are amazing I just have to say amazing I even took notes <laughs> I took notes in my notebook for all the carts so um Right now, from last week, I gave you guys a challenge to show me, show me your cart. <laughs> show me your cart. So here's my cart. And yeah, every time I think I've got it, I add another little, you know, container. Like, did you guys see I put another 
I did a double, a double hang. So I found this little thing, this little guy at Daiso with these little hangers. So I did a double hang and I noticed, I believe it was, hmm, Anne or I can't remember. I think it was Anne who did a double hang on her cart too. And she, um, so you can, you can just keep going. You can just keep organizing and, and finding ways to make your carts work even better for you. So when we talk tools, <laughs> when we talk tools, this is where I keep a lot of my itty bitty little tools, right? Because those can take up a lot of room on top of your workspace and you want to get those. For me, it was like finally felt so good to have all the little compartments that you can see my scissors, my multi-purpose tool, my glue pen, my Cricut tools, my poker, you know, everything, my post-it notes, a stapler, bone folder, all that, all those little bitty things now have a little slot. And so they can end up back in the slot. Okay. So I want to share some other amazing carts. <laughs> all right. Um, and then let me let me, let me see. There's a cute, do the drawers from Michael's come out further? Nope. They're about the same. Just want to mention that Diane, sorry, uh, about the same extension on those. And Carrie said her carts have been released from their dungeon. <laughs> so, okay. And the little clear hanging cubby Ruth was from Daiso. I know. I, I don't know what to do about Daiso because someone mentioned they're only in, um, Texas and California. I don't know if that's right. Um, but the thing is, if you're walking the aisles at Kmart or you're walking the aisles at Dollar Tree, just kind of always keep in mind, like, is there a cute little, you know, container? I keep trying to forget which way to go. That will work. Um, so I wish I could, I wish I could get all of these little fun things linked for you. Um, here we go. We're going to do a little cart parade with so far what I found in the Facebook group. Now, this is not OK. Let me just clarify this. These are not all the cart pictures. If you want to see some more amazing cart pictures, you've got a request to join my pop Facebook group. Progress on projects. The pop group, the the pop community <laughs> um, is on Facebook. You need to request to join. Mary Smith helps me moderate that group. and. There are some amazing pictures, but the ones I pulled were really specifically for tools. Okay, so they're not all of them, but you really need to go check out because Bunny has a cart that she did all of her ABCs in, her five by seven boxes, her paper stash. Nancy uses a cart for mixed media. Sabine has her stickers, her journal, um, pouch in there, her traveler notebook supplies, embellishment, six by six paper. Pam has dies and cling stamps. Vicki has two carts, one with embellishments, mats, paper, another one with her die cut um, items and things. So I'm not, I couldn't even pull all those photos. If you want to see them, go ask to be part of the pop Facebook group. And if you have a cart, let us see it because the I have an incentive still for today. If you get your picture up by today, I'm going to put you in a drawing for one of two $50 certificates. And if you're outside the U.S., we're going to just figure that out. Um, and you have until midnight Pacific or so. I'm not, I'm not, you know, just get your photo in there. I'm not going to give it away. I'm, I'm going to give it away the next Tidy Up Tuesday. Next Tuesday, I'm going to give those away. Okay, so maybe you have a little more time. Let's see some other carts. Here is Cindy's cart. And what I love is that <laughs> you can see there's so many different carts, right? So use what you have if you have a cart. Use how, use what works for you. Look at this. Cindy has her 12-inch trimmer right there. In the middle shelf. Okay, so these are the ones that I, I specifically was looking for tools just to give you some more ideas on how you can store your tools. Okay, and Evie says she has five carts. <laughs> 
okay, you've got, I've got some ambition there. Okay. Um, so carts are awesome. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So there's Cindy's and I love how she put craftastic. One thing I just want to mention, you can see better. There's also, um, more posts of some of these carts in the pop Facebook group. I love right here in the middle of Cindy's cart, she has a box that says current project. So she uses her big five by seven um, storage box, the one with the little flowers on it right behind the trimmer for all of her current scrapbooking projects. I thought that was brilliant. Okay, let's see Cherie's. I know Cherie, you're here. You guys, awesome. Look at all of her punches. Okay, see, this is an exact, remember how I was saying, you've got to find the containers that help you contain, right? So Cherie actually even uses the, um, okay, is it called tool tote? What's it even called? The creative memories um, organizer. Do you see that on her second shelf? She has the CM organizer with her border maker cartridges right in there, which is great, right, Sheree? I could imagine that you could just grab that if you want to go to a crop too, right? So that's what I'm thinking. And then you can see there's some of the little, like, it looks like pencil, um, pencil containers that you can put the little cartridges in. Yeah. Yay, Cindy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. You guys have such amazing uh, ideas. So it's always awesome to share. And Donna says her son just put together her first cart. Ah, yay. Okay, I'm going to convert all of you guys. <laughs> Let's look at some more amazing carts. Darlene. Okay, some of them um, had portrait and some had horizontal. <laughs> okay, so... Can I just say, Darlene, I want to go live in your craft room because you guys, look at, look, look, wait, I have to point the right way. She has three carts. So cute. But I am such a Buffalo check girl, black and white, like be still my heart. Love it. <laughs> and I love that her carts are all black and they all match. Now, a great thing here, here <laughs> is... If you notice, there are two carts that have three shelves and there's one cart that has four. So I think these are the Michaels carts. Um, and you can get carts with three shelves and you can get carts with four shelves. So that is a perfect example. Now, can you see Darlene has punches? Do you see the punches? There's the tools. There's the tools, okay? I keep pointing the wrong way. Tools. So the third one, like way over there. <laughs> um, let me see if I can make it even bigger. Can you guys, let me see if I can do that. There. Oh, look at that. See, I don't need to be in the picture. Look at that. I'm going to just bring it even bigger. Do you see her cart? So she has that one with all the punches on him. See, because carts are metal, they will take the weight, right, you guys? And that's a great way of storing tools. Okay, Susan said, <laughs> I've got her cart crazy. <laughs> I love it. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and Sharice says she's going to add an Ikea light on the underside so she can see her BMCs better. That's an awesome idea, right? Put a little light strip underneath. All right. Kelly, let's take a look at your cart. What I love about Kelly's cart is look at at the bottom. She has her cuddle bug. Can you guys see that? And look at on the top, her personal trimmer. There's her personal trimmer. And then a lot of people in the group were saying, where'd you get that? So that's a magnetic letter holder that she stuck on the side of her cart. And then do you see in this basket right here? That's the new envelope and bow maker, friends, right there. So she has some cute little baskets that she's included in her cart to hold some of the tools. Okay, so we need, um, do you need a magnifying glass? Should I, should I zoom in? 
<laughs> that gives you a little better look. Do you see? So she put her trimmer, her personal trimmers right there on the top, her scissors, her pens, all her needy, needed things. Again, go in the Pop Facebook group because these gals have posted, they'll answer your questions about all the things that they have in their cart, right? And all the things that they bought for their cart. So I love it. Okay. Thank you, Kelly. Annette, I don't know if you're here. <laughs> okay. Um, so Annette, she's like, okay, I have, um, two carts now. Wait, we have two, we have two Annettes. This is, um, uh, the first Annette. Well, okay. Um, anyhow, Annette, both Annettes. <laughs> I'll get to you. Okay. Annette, what I love. So she goes, I, I'm so cart crazy. I have two carts. One, look at all the tools. She's got all her border maker systems, all her punches in, in um, one of the wire carts. And then the second one over here, guys, look at her cute little um, holder with her custom cutting system on the top of her cart. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. I love that idea. A little holder. You've got all your most used patterns right there on the top of your cart. Okay. Are, are your guys, are you getting so many good ideas? I just love this. I, I think it's just so many different ways that you can then think about what's good for you. Mary, I think I saw Mary here. Yes, Mary, Mary's here. Mary, I love that you are using your cart for your talk about tools. You guys look, which way? I have to point this way. Look up here. That is her big shot. Okay, her big shot is on the top of her cart. So yes, these carts are strong. I know I also um, was reading some of the posts that said, oh, if it gets too heavy. No, here's a tip. If your cart gets too heavy with your punches, because punches are heavy and you have carpet, you may want to find the place that that's going to live instead of trying to drag your cart across carpet with heavy punches. So lighter weight stuff is easier to move your cart. But if there's something that is heavy, like Mary, I bet this one's kind of heavy um, because she has her her um, big shot up on top. But then in the second row, it looks like she has a lot of her dies. And the big shot is a die, a manual die machine that you roll your dies through the metal dies, which was last week. <laughs> we talked about stamp and die storage. Okay, but again, I wanted to share tools. Where can you, you know, how can you use carts for all these different things? All right, Annette, my other Annette. <laughs> the Annette that I know is here. Okay, and well, she was in and out. She goes, I've revamped my cart three times, four times, five times. <laughs> how many times did you redo your cart, Annette? And she goes, this is, this is the latest one. And again, you can see she's got her... She said, I have a small punch collection. I don't have a lot of punches. So she's got hers right there, most used in the middle row, right there of her cart. Okay. And Annette's cart is pretty decked out, wouldn't you say? <laughs> right? You've decked it out. And the top in the top corner up there, that is not a TV remote. She said, that's my label maker. <laughs> right? Okay, so, um, and the more little gadgets you can get, <laughs> the more little gadgets you can get, I think the better. You can just keep going, <laughs> keep going. So, oh, and I wanted to share, speaking of, now look at Annette's cart. You can see the metal, um, metal, uh, whatchamacallit, metal containers, round, circle. This is called a circle. <laughs> um, so I think I shared that I got these at Daiso. Um, but I think you'd probably find these on Amazon too. I'll try to find some for you. They have the magnet on the back. And I, after I did my <laughs> stamp and die video last week, I thought, I wonder what I'm going to put in mine. And then I had this idea. Oh, I'm going to see if the stamp chamois will stay. So I stuck my stamp chamois in here a week ago. It's still soft. 
I'm so excited. So excited. So now my stamp chamois lives in this because it's got kind of a good seal on it and it stays moist, which uh, if you, if you're a stamper and you use stamp chamois, you know, that's always a problem. These things dry out. Okay. So just wanted to share that was a little extra from last week because Annette, you can see her little metal, uh, round circular magnet containers on her cart. Yep. So there you go. And you can tell me if you're, if the stamp chamois will fit in, in yours too. At Dollar Tree. Okay. They're at Dollar Tree guys. Go get them. Go get them at Dollar Tree. I love it. All right. And let's check out your cart. I mean, talk about, woo, look at this color coordinating everything. Talk about tools. Okay. She has got, do you, we talked about the, my caterpillar trimmer last week. Do you see in the middle shelf right there? She puts her caterpillar paper trimmer right there in the middle shelf. She has a lot of the cups. Okay. And yes, you were the one that did the double cups. So if you notice, let me, let me tell you what I mean about double cups. She took so brilliant. She took these guys and stacked one. I, I don't know if I can do it. One on top of the other. Okay, like this. Let's see if I can do it for you. There. Okay. Didn't even know you could do that. Thank you, Anne. Thank you. So, and you can see I have my new bone folder in as a in one of my little cubbies. Sorry, I keep trying to figure out which way to go. All right. So you can hook two of these babies together. Brilliant idea. Just gives you even more real estate on your cart. So, and thank you for that, um, as well as all the other carts. You can see she even has her brother scan and cut. Yes, thank you, Carrie. <laughs> scan and cut right there on the bottom. Look at that. So this is the Hudson. I'm pretty sure this is the longer cart uh, from Michael's, the Hudson. So remember, carts can come either more narrow or the long ones. They can come three tiers or four tiers. There's all kinds of carts. You can get carts on Amazon. You can get carts at um, Ikea, the Rascog. We did have that whole discussion that these little cups do not fit the Rascog carts. So you would have to find an alternative. Staples also has carts and accessories. Thank you, Cinda. Okay. So many great things. Marsha, this is my last cart. She's like, I'm just getting started, guys. I'm just getting started, and that's okay. What I want to share about Marsha's cart is, look, she even has on the top, again, finding the right containers. Do you see her circle maker? You can just see those two little knobs peeking up on the top shelf. She has her circle maker. Actually, I had one more cart I want to share. Where did that go? Um, I might have, I, I'm, I should have one more. And then she has her corner rounder, the corner rounder. So again, a little tray, you can put those corner rounders in. Okay. Oh, so don't keep your chamois too wet bacteria mold. Lawn Fawn came out with their container, which has holes for air. Maybe that would be good. Okay. So I know I smelled it after a week. It smelled okay, Sabine. So I'm like, hmm, I wonder. I guess it would also depend on how often you use it. If you're not, if you don't stamp every, you know, few days, maybe that wouldn't be a good idea. But mine does get used often. So yeah, great. And I know there's other... um containers for the stamp chamois. And I guess you could just run and get them, get them dried out um, or re-moistened. Okay. So hold on a second. I was, um, I need to find one more cart. Okay. Because did I forget to put this one up? Okay. Let me just, I, I need to find one more picture friends and, um, because this I have to talk about really quick. Let me find it for you. Okay. 
I'm going to just replace this one right now. I think it should work for you. Okay. Mary Mary, my, my sweet Mary, who helps me with the pop group. She also posted a picture of her cart, and I love it. She's like, I wasn't going to get a cart, and then I decided I deserve it. <laughs> I deserve it. So there you go. She's got her cart, and I love Mary's cart because she's got it so decked out also, but can you notice the rulers hanging off the side, which I love? And then what I'm going to have you peek into the corner over on the left-hand side of this photo, do you guys see her drawers? Do you see the drawers over here? Those are the, I believe they're the scrap, they look either like the iris drawers or they could be the 12 by 12 iris drawers. And she's got punch outs, okay, punch outs stuck on the side. So she can tell, I don't know if Mary's here today, um, she can tell exactly what's in those drawers. And I think I saw, I don't know, Julie, are you still here? I think I saw Julie mention that this is what she does. Or I, where is that photo you sent me one time, Julie, of how she has baskets. I believe Julie does baskets with um, vinyl punch outs or something like that. Like the, the punch out of what's in it stuck to the side of the basket. So she knows in this basket, I've got these six punches and this is what they look at, look like. And, um, okay. <laughs> you guys distilled water for your crafts to avoid mold. I love it. Oh, you guys are awesome. There's so much good stuff in the chat. You guys need to need to read that. Okay. So yeah, 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 yeah. The punch binder. We talked about the punch binder. Still love the punch binder. Okay. Uh, let's see. So anybody use the drawers like Mary? You guys see those, right? I hope I hope you see the drawers. Okay. So um, what I want to remind you guys too, here's my link for the pop Facebook group. If you enjoyed seeing the cart show, right? So we were able to do a little cart show and tell. You should check out the Progress on Projects Facebook group. We not only talk about carts in that, in that Facebook group, but it also supports your questions, your ideas on how to make progress on your projects, which is my whole kind of organization system for getting your scrapbook albums completed. So anybody is welcome to join in that group. And um, so just a quick reminder about that. So today was that fun I hope you enjoyed seeing everybody's cool stuff and your carts and just I love that you're you're so willing to share and um kind of let us know about yep Julie's here okay we're gonna come back let us know about um what's working for you and how you've kind of done things so that you know you've got what you need at your fingertips. That's what's most important. Okay, so just a reminder what we talked about today. We talked about using containers, right? If you if you don't have the wall system, the stamp and storage system, you can use containers to help store your um, tools because tools get heavy. You could use acrylic frames if you need to. We talked about the punch inventory binder, which has all the samples. And then as Julie was just mentioning, you can also do the same kind of idea. Put it, like say this was your drawer, you know, you could just put the, the vinyl stickers on here. Or if this is, you know, a basket, you could do the vinyl stickers and then you could see what's in there. Or you could just punch it right? And stick that on there, whatever works. So remember, are you a glancer? Are you a grouper, right? Or are you a little bit of both? And if you want to see things on display, if you're a glancer, we talked about stamp and storage and they're having a sale. So I'll leave the links for that stamp and storage. 
Calyx units, right? That's another great way. Calyx units. We talked about the wine holder. Actually, these little things will fit right in the wine holder, and that gives you three, six, nine, nine little squares for each cube in a calyx. Pegboards, right? You could use pegboards for display. Rods. I have seen people use kitchen rods, right? So think of a rod and then you um, are like a drape rod. And then you can, these kind of punches like this, the Martha Stewart. I wish I had gotten a picture of that. You can hang these on a rod. So sometimes I've seen that in people's craft rooms using rods. We talked about carts, all kinds of carts, because carts you can still see visually, right? What's on your cart, what's on your shelf in your cart. And then um, we have a bot. Oh, shoot. Yep. Let's see. That's YouTube. All right. So my YouTube, anybody, Carrie, are you on YouTube? <laughs> thank you, Ruth. Um, let me see if I can. Thank you. Before we finish. Um, one second, friends. Let's see. I gotta get rid of that bot. There's no shenanigans. I didn't see Sandy here. And Carrie, I'm not sure if you are still. Yeah, thank you, Donna. Getting there. Um, you got him? Sandy, did you get him? Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, Carrie, yeah, you're also still okay. <laughs> Mary got him too. Ah. Oh. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. You guys are just awesome. Helping, helping me keep it clean and safe here. Persistent one. Yes. <laughs> thank you guys. Okay. So we were talking display. We're just about to wrap up anyhow. Display. But then we're also talking group and tech. So if you like to group and tech away, like in a drawer, we talked about Helmer drawers, Alex drawers, Michael's drawers. You could even, if you have an awesome craft room with built-in drawers, right? You can do that. Um, you can use these as drawers, so to speak, if you have little shelves. And the the picture I just shared with you was um, Mary's drawers, right? The plastic uh, iris drawers. And I have to, I forgot to take a picture, but the they're called iris 12 by 12 scrapbook drawers and you have to do some searching to find a good price on that um but they are wide drawers that fit 12 by 12 paper those also fit border maker cartridges they're plastic so they're a little they're a little wonky right but um it's another alternative uh, and again, like if you don't put as many in the plastic drawers, that would be easier. And then if you remember last time I said I tried using those plastic drawers. No, these are too heavy. So I wouldn't use something like that. But the iris ones, those will take some of the weight. And then you could put your little labels or like Julie was saying, she uses baskets and then she just like you know, uh, I don't have a good, I good, good. Anyhow, you guys get it <laughs> a basket and you can stick that on the front. In fact, Julie, I have homework for you. Post a picture in the pop Facebook group for us. Again, I can't remember if you sent that to me or what the photo or where that was, but I know people would love to see it. Your little system for, for doing your punches and so forth. So, and Lana says she used curtain rods prior and then it became, yeah, yeah. And then they're heavy. These guys are heavy. They're heavy. Punches are heavy. So did you find something that you think you might be able to use? I hope. <laughs> um, where are the recollections cubes that you have standing up? These guys? I'm. Oh, okay. So here's the thing. You can kind of see it. Let me move my cart. Over here, these are um, 
These are the old Recollections cubes. And I love vertical, so that's what I talked about a lot in my old craft room tour. I love vertical storage. So I turn most of my cubbies vertically. And um, and we're going to talk about that. That's Those are my um, scrapbook page uh, storage over here. And these up here are the new ones from Michael. So these are not available. These are what have replaced it. And these big ones, I did remember I got a question. These are the ones they have. There's holes. You can't see them, but they have holes. So they do come with the shelves. And I took most of my shelves and put them in a box and stuck them in the garage because I just wanted open cubbies for, um, for my power project folders back here. These have the, the, the organizer already built in, but they're the ones with the angle on it. Okay. So woohoo. Okay. Hope that answered your question. Some like to use the holders that go over your door. Yeah, that's right, Monica. I've seen that too, where you can hang on your door, the little plastic pockets, and then you can put things in there. All right. I hope you guys got some woo, inspiration for all things punches and tools. There's so many different ways that you can go about that. I look at, I still have a lot more to organize. So we'll be back next week. Um, next week, I was thinking, what was I thinking? Oh, what do you guys think? Would you like to see a binder tour? <laughs> what do I have in all my binders? Julie was starting to talk about her sort and stash binder, what she has in hers. I was thinking I've got I can show you what's in my sort and stash binders, what's in some more of my blue binders, because I'm kind of a binder girl. And um, I have other binders, and one of those binders I do um, house my titles and stickers. That's another favorite topic that we like to talk about is titles and stickers. So that's what I was thinking about doing next week is a little bit more looking into some of my shelves and the binders and what do I, how do I have things organized that way? So, yay! Okay. Oh, and Debbie just got here. Yeah, we're just wrapping up. <laughs> Pouring rain. I wish we're, we don't have any rain here in Southern Cal yet. So, um, yes, thank you, Ruth. Don't forget, if you can, if you enjoyed today, if you leave a comment, I love, love, love reading your comments, friends. So even if you're watching on replay, leave those comments. I don't always have time to reply to everyone, but if you if you leave those comments, I do try to get a chance to read them and I love it. And it always helps other people too. And if you give that thumbs up, then everybody knows um, that you're enjoying what you're watching. Okay, so, <laughs> and Lana loves album shares and flip throughs. Okay, well, how about binder shares and flip throughs? We'll do that next week too. All right, friends. Thanks so much for joining in. And thank you to my moderators for catching the little shenanigans when you needed to. And um, Sabine says yes to binders. Okay, looks like that's our, our goal for next week. And you never know, I'll probably throw some other stuff in there. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, and Monica, she says she uses the plastic drawers when you have a small collection. So, again, think of what your needs are and how much space you have, what you're able to, um, you know, have and, and what you want. Also, what's really important, what you want right next to you. Like, you know, my cart, I have to have that right next to me. Love it. It's all off my table. I can roll it right under my desk and... It's just tucked away, but it has a little pocket for everything, which I think, you know, grabbing the right container is so important. Okay, friends, <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it, Belinda. Thanks so much for stopping by. Sandy, yep, you're here. Binders for the win. I know, I love my binders. All right, friends, don't forget, post your carts by today. I want to see what other wonderful ideas you've come up with in the pop Facebook group, Mary, watch out. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to have some more people join us. And until I see you again, I hope you take some time to do a little organizing. It doesn't all have to be done all at once, right? Just a little bit day after day or here or there. When you have an opportunity, we'll get through it. And then the big 
uh, ending will be a full tour of everything once we've tidied everything up that we need to tidy. Okay, so until next time, take some time to craft your joy. See you then.